future of River State to the hands of our youth. This is not just a fact. It is the reason we have continued to prioritize youth development in our policies and programs. And our goal is a way to empower our youth and to expose them to quality education. This we are doing and more youth and more youth than before and graduating at a special institution. Besides, they have the opportunity for political and public service appointments. The military of capital projects we are undertaking and providing both direct and indirect employment economic action. We therefore acknowledge the need to create better and sustainable economic opportunities for youth to explore and uh, to explore and exploit all their skills, talents and ideas and secure productive, profitable and prosperous future for themselves and their families. We have therefore Program Project 2022 with several initiatives that fund target and very social and economic interests of the youth population, which include expansion of education opportunities and targeted emphasis on vocational training and the acquisition of relevant skills set to enhance their employment, their employability. In addition, we have directed the Minister of Youth Development to introduce special youth focused programs and initiatives to advance them toward the path of productivity, entrepreneurship, and self reliance. We have also, we have also mandated the Ministry of Employment Generation to initiate necessary platforms to job and 2 billion, 202 million naira have been provided to the, in the 2022 budget for the Ministry of Youth Development and its counterpart on employment generation to fund the various initiatives on youth focused job creation and empowerment programs. We will expect our youth to seize the unfolding opportunity in the 2022 budget to lift up themselves and be part of the positive story for the economic transformation of the vast states. Women Empowerment. The saying is true that to build a woman is to be is to build a society. Women are the backbone of our families and we have so much pride in their hand work, in their, in their hard work, productivity and commitment to the development of our states. Over the years we have mainstreamed gender issues and employment to the activities of Minister of Women Affairs, while the Minister of Social Welfare and Education has been the vanguard for women's rights and the protection of our women and children against gender-based violence. The resolution of structural and cultural issues affecting women development will continue to receive the government of we say that the government just as we also owe it as a duty to address and tackle the disproportionate impact of poverty and inequality on women in our society. We have therefore repositioned the relevant ministries, including the Ministry of Women Affairs and Ministry of Social Welfare, to focus and provide targeted strategic interventions to empower our women and enforce their rights to improve standards of living and dignity. In 2022, we have projected the sum of 3.4 billion for the Ministry of Women Affairs and 1.5 billion for the Ministry of Social, Af Social Welfare and Heritage to implement their programs and projects on women development and empowerment. Sports development. In developing state like United States with a youthful population, we cannot overstate the importance of sports development. Sports is not just a productive outlet for youthful energy, it presents an enormous opportunity for education, talent development, employment, and highly rewarding career paths. Over the years, we have prioritized sports and enhanced the development of sports infrastructure. We are doing well in football and desperate for sportsmen and women in national and international units have been lifted up by to us. Our flagship football talent development project is the Real Madrid Football Academy we have established in Portaco. With this academy, we are hopeful that River State will soon become the powerhouse of football excellence, of football excellence in the country. It is just a matter of time. In 2022, we have provided some further investment in sports development, including the total rehabilitation and reclassing of the football field at the Adoke, at Adoke and Spagastadon to that international football matches to attract 
international format back to Port Harcourt. The Real Madrid Academy would also start full training and academic activities in 2022 with the completion of the admission processes and provision of auxiliary facilities. Further, further, for this and other sports development programs, budget 2022 allocates the sum of 2 billion 293 million 581,042 naira to the Ministry of Sports as capital expenditure. Security of citizens. Mr. Speaker, one of our primary obligations is to provide reasonable levels of security for our citizens and visitors to the state. It is very important for the state's economic and social interests for all residents to feel safe and secure in their homes, in their workplaces, and at leisure venues. Relative River State is one of the safest and secure states in our country. However, because the criminals in our midst are not willing to give up. We must also intensify our fights against these anti-social minority elements who are bent on a life of crime. Over the years, we have supported the master command of Nigerian police and the armed forces and other security with phones and logistics, including vehicles, armored personal carriers, gun boats, communication gadgets, and bulletproof vests. In 2021, we revised and invested in the personalization of the Labour State, neighborhood security corps to strengthen intelligence guidance and security in our communities. However, given the directives that we have to cross check what is going on in that in safety corps. While these efforts may have resulted in improved security spirit in the state, we will not lower our guards, but rather continue to do our best to curb crime and criminality and ensure that River State remains safe, secure for citizens. Budget 2022 has therefore put aside a sum of 26 billion four hundred and six million six hundred forty nine thousand seven hundred two nine for the effective funding of citizen security in the fiscal year. Conclusion. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Members, River State is ours to build and together we are doing just that. River State has made tremendous progress in the last six and a half years under our watch. Our social and economic conditions are better than where they were in 2015. Indeed, River State is transforming and we have achieved a lot. Our development footprints are everywhere visible, extensive, and comprehensive. Even the blind can feel the touch while the deaf are shaking by the echoes and in the committee of states where the envy of many. But our mandate is still running and our job is not yet finished. There is still a lot to be done to take River State one step closer to a glorious destination. And this is what Budget 2022 has been designed to accomplish. Like these predecessors, Budget 2022 is an ambitious one, carefully crafted, directed, and targeted at propelling our development efforts toward the finishing line. Our development measures and people centered, predicated on what is good for our state and for our people. They encapsulate our optimism and hope for a peaceful, secure, and sustainable, sustainably developed river state. We welcome the critics for as long as they remain constructive and manifest responsible intentions to contribute to the development of our state. But the box stops on our attempt. We would note and listen, but never take instructions from anybody or institutions that do not mean well for our state and our people. With faith in God, hard work and commitment to the common interests, we can accelerate our transformation for the benefit of all. Thank you, and may God continue to bless our dear River State as I lay the 2022 budgetary proposal for River State before this honorable house for your consideration and approval. Your Excellency, the governor of Rupert State, this 
distinguished members of River State as Vasemi. Let me once more, on behalf of River State as Vasemi, thank you for performing your tax in a manner that is befitting of the office of the governor of a state. You know, when people are given opportunity to speak in public, the microphone given to them, in most cases, people will say, today is not a speech-making day. But as one who sits in the chair today, today is a speech-making day. If it is not said now, then it cannot be said anywhere. If any man has done well, it should be told to the world that this particular one is doing well. As members of the We agree and we confess the fact that as governor of River State, the difference is clear and is made known even to the part of the world that is not too close to us. Excellency, thank you so much for the work you are doing for River's people and the state. It couldn't have been better. I say that again and again. In your review of the 2021 budget, as appropriated by the River State House of Assembly, you stated in unequivocal terms that the revenue performance of the state was well above 87% as at October ending. That is a good budget performance. There is no economy, there is no governance that would have impacted on the people when in most cases you have an economy where the withdrawal is always greater than the injection. With your tenacity to rules and procedure in terms of standard and practice. First, your family background, then as a lawyer, and as one who believes that the right thing should be done. Those are what are the factors contributing to all that is manifesting in River State today. Your Excellency, we commend you. The policy trust of 2022 estimate, you have outlined all that the focus of the estimate is all about. And what has been achieved in 2021? All of us were witnesses to the achievement recorded. We are even part of those who are having pride, taking pride in what you are doing in the state, beyond the shores of the state. Let me quickly recall that some weeks back we were at the National Assembly to defend the position of the state in relation to the ongoing construction, approval and construction of Nigerian Law School. All those who made presentation before the Senate Committee on Judiciary and Human Rights commended you. They are not from the state. You know, the things you do, your enemies, if you have, but I don't think you have, your enemies are forced to love you. You're going 